I fired up Creo Parametric 6.0 in order to do a video on all the changes to the model tree. And it's very interesting. I got a dialog box that gave me a warning about one of the things that I'm going to talk about. It tells me that the old option model tree CFG file doesn't apply anymore because I just opened up an assembly in my previous Creo Parametric 6.0 session, I had an assembly open. So it migrated the settings from my model tree CFG file to the new Creo Parametric UI file in which they are stored. Now the Creo Parametric customization UI file has been used for a few versions now, but it, starting in Creo Parametric 6.0, it's also being used to manage your model tree settings. So I'm going to click OK out of this dialog box. And I just want to show you that option. If I go to File Options Configuration Editor, here in my list, I have Model Tree CFG file and it's set over here and it recommends that I unset this option. I'm not going to do that because I still use earlier versions of Creo Parametric. And if you were to take a look at the model tree CFG file, you'll see that it's just a text file that specifies which different entities are going to be displayed or not. And speaking of which, let's go back over to uh, Creo Parametric. If you want to customize your model tree, you still do it from the settings icon in the model tree. First off, I'll go to tree filters and I want to mention a few things that are turned on by default now. So if you have an assembly open, features is going to be checked, annotations will also be checked as well as suppressed objects. Uh, but again, you can choose what you want displayed for the different modes as well. One of the big changes is, oops, click the wrong button. Uh, if you go to settings and then tree columns, the very first column is going to be for the model tree itself. You'll notice that the remove column is grayed out. You can't take that out of there. So you can use this for controlling the overall size. So maybe I want a really much wider model tree. I can do that. And I am in assembly mode. So let's say that there are a few different options that would be useful to me. So for example, maybe I'm also going to show parent details over here. And let's see, let's go to our model params. And maybe I'm going to display PTC common name. Move it over here, change the order, adjust the column width. So I'm setting up the model tree and when I click OK, these different settings that I made are going to be applied to my CFG file, or excuse me, my Creo Parametric Customization UI file automatically. There's no longer a need to go out to the settings and uh, export the settings file. If you do that, it'll still go to that tree.cfg file. But again, the settings are automatically managed in that Creo Parametric customization file. All right, along the same lines, let's go ahead and select a component, click the open button. And again, I get the warning. It tells me, hey, you are using that config option model tree CFG file. You have opened up a part. We already migrated the options from the part file. And so you really don't need to use that old tree.cfg file for managing your model tree because it's using the new Creo Parametric Customization UI file. Obviously, I'm not reading that. I am paraphrasing the information that they are giving you in here. And one other big change in Creo Parametric 6.0 is that you have different uh, you, you're managing customizations by mode. In other words, here I have a part open. I don't have the columns that I had from the previous mode. So let's go to my tree columns. And maybe inside of here, I want to display the feature ID. Let's add that as a column and click OK. And there I have my feature ID column displayed. Let's go back over to the assembly and select another component go to the open button 
And again, I've got feature ID displayed in here for this component. And now what I'm going to do is exit out of Creo Parametric 6.0 in order to test the Creo Parametric Customization UI file to see if it remembered my settings without me having to save them explicitly. So let's go and exit and I'll come back in a minute. All right, so I have launched Creo Parametric 6.0 and started to open up a part. Again, we get the conflicts window over here, and you'll notice the feature ID column is automatically listed in here. Let's open up an assembly. All right, so once again, it gives me the conflicting settings dialog box. If you don't want to see it, obviously you can check the box to say do not show this message. But again, I have the columns in here for PTC common name and parent details automatically being showed to me. I didn't have to export my tree.cfg settings. They are there for me automatically. And one last thing that I want to mention, let me minimize this here. If you want to figure out where that Creo Parametric Customization UI file goes, if you go to your app data folder and then go into PTC Pro Engineer Wildfire .wf settings, that's where it is stored. If you are unsure about getting to the app settings, uh, just type in percent app data percent hit the enter key and then you can go to ptc pro engineer wildfire dot wf dot settings and here you can see there is the creo parametric customization file that got stored automatically i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindshield.com if you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.